Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to our West Kilbride Primary School prize giving and celebration and lever service for our primary sevens. It's lovely to have everyone here this afternoon. Lovely to have our primary sevens, primary sixes, primary fives. Uh, lovely to see all parents and grandparents and carers with us today as well. I don't really know what's going to happen today. I don't think a lot of the teachers know what's going to happen today either. This has been kind of passed over uh, to the primary sevens. So without further ado, we're going to pass over to primary sevens now. We're going to do Back to the Future. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our primary seven lever service. We are going to start by taking you into the future. Here we are, Granny, your old school, just where you said it was. Is this one of your friends? Well, I'll be back in about an hour then. Got to get you back to the old folks' home. See you later. Don't you worry about me, honey. I'll be fine. Great to see you, Fenina. You've left your curlers and your dafty. Oh, I can't believe we early didn't tell me. Was that your wee granddaughter that dropped you off? Aye, it was. She's our youngest. Always very busy. Not interested in me talking about the good old days. Ben and Fenina, sorry we're late. Our flight was delayed and then I couldn't find a taxi. Gosh, this place hasn't changed, does it? Hi, oh, James and I own it. Happy 60th Weaver's anniversary. Happy days. We had a tough year, didn't we? I couldn't wait to go. Remember? Remember? It's hard not life for us. It's hard not life for us. Can't call that a hard life. He's right, you muddled your memory somewhere, Fenina. We had such a great time here, don't you remember? 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 I remember in P1, Rebecca and I were playing Tig at lunch. The bell rang and I was it. I did not want to lose this game at all. So when I got into the classroom, I started chasing around the room for a good five minutes. Little did I know, Miss Templey put my name on the blackboard. In primary one, I remember when I was playing Tig with my friends, I was running away from the Tigger. A P7 accidentally tripped me up and I fell face first onto my lips. I looked like Donald Duck when they burst open. I remember I came to school with a wobbly tooth. I didn't think much of it. I was eating my snack and heard a crunch, but I just ignored it. I was playing in the sandbox and I sneezed and it came shooting at my mouth. In primary one and two, we all read about Biff, Jep, Kipper and Floppy the dog. In primary one, I painted my hand and put it on the wall and lost my golden time. I did it because you were allowed to do that in nursery. Can't call that a hard life. Well, yes, I do remember those things were fun. We had some great teachers, didn't we? Remember Mrs. Templey and Miss Murray? Yes, what a great start to school we had. But now I think about it, that was it. After primary two, nothing. The rest was miserable. She's losing her mind. Don't you remember primary three, four, and five were great? Don't you remember? 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 I remember in primary three, all the girls used to play mermaids. I remember in primary three, I. I did a dance with my best friends Madison and Travis for the school talent show. We practiced for ages, but we didn't place. 
I remember when I was in primary three, we went on a trip to the Viking Gar. We saw Vikings and even got told a Viking sword. It was very heavy. I remember the first time I met Ellie in primary four, she ran away from me. In primary five, if someone broke a ruler, it was like the worst thing to ever happen. I remember in primary five, Mrs. Rolf used to tell stories about her baby Archie. We used to go to pantomimes every year. My favourite was Jack and the Beanstalk. Miss MacDonald and Miss Armstrong would be horrified if you've forgotten all that. OK, I'll give you that. They did arrange some great activities. I think I learned a lot about my times tables during those years. <laughs> of course you did. It was a great place, so different to schools today. Yes, youngsters nowadays don't know they are born. The way they made us work in primary six and seven, it never stopped. Math, this, writing, that, spelling, spelling, spelling. Slave drivers, just slave drivers. <laughs> Nina gets worse every year. Really lost it this time, though. Yeah, too, right. Primary six and seven were hard work, but do you remember all the great stuff we got to do as well? Do you remember? I remember. I remember. I remember in P6, me and Tegan both walked into the wrong classroom. We both did not know there was two Miss Reeds. It was very embarrassing. My favourite part, though, guys, was the vertical challenge. It was a climbing wall with tyres and ladders. I remember at the guys, Ben and Luke capsized their canoe. Luke was screaming. It was quite funny. They both forgot to bring their towels and they were soaked. They were the only ones who capsized that day. I remember at the guys when Tom got locked in the bathroom after the lights turned off and he was screaming. In primary six, Jane and I created a PowerPoint of Barbie's Vincent face on everything. We were obsessed with the B movie. <laughs> Miss Gemma was convinced she could rap. She'd be like, guys, if you finish your maths, I'll rap. It was so funny, she was actually pretty good. In primary seven, Adam would randomly burst into break dancing and everyone would shout, Go Adam! Go Adam! Go Adam! Go Adam! <laughs> we were all sound asleep in our dorms and Sophia woke us up by telling us the weather for the next day. I remember at Dull Guys, I stood up on the canoe and started dancing at Capsize. It was really funny. I remember in P6 and when we jumped out the um, hole in the wall in the P6 classroom when the teacher wasn't looking. I remember in primary seven we played an April Fool's joke on Miss Gemmo. When Travis's name was called out in the register, we all dropped dead. Miss Gemmo was so confused and surprised. In primary seven, we wrote to our future selves. We can't wait to open them before the end of school. That trip to the guys is something I'll never forget. Ah, oh, we were so young and had so many ambitions, didn't we? Yes, all those dreams. You knew what would some go on to do, but there have been so much surprises over the years, haven't there? I am a famous scientist. I discovered a cure for all illnesses. I'm a doctor. I'm a game creator and animator. I'm a game designer. 
I'm the most successful rugby player in the world. I'm a vet. By 2022, I'll have become a very successful vet. I have found cures for animals who are very sick. I am the bendiest girl in the world. We are pro footballers. And we even won Scotland the World Cup. about being famous, does it? Do you remember what the teachers used to say? Of course we do. They said that we should achieve whatever we put our minds to and that whatever we did, we should be happy and healthy. A good message, a good school, I do miss it. We worked hard here, but we had fun, full of happy memories. It was sad but exciting the day we left. I remember you a lot. All my favourites. You have Oh my goodness, it's Miss Graham and Miss Gamble. I can't believe they're still working here. I remember you a lot. All my favourites. You haven't changed one bit. And neither have you. We hope you enjoyed that. Before we leave, we would like to say a few thanks. In no particular order, firstly, thank you to Mr McNay and the church for kindly allowing us to hold our leaver service here. It's been a while since we were last together in this setting, and it has been lovely. Thank you to our families for getting us up ready for school in the morning, making sure we, need, uh, making sure we have everything we need for the day and putting up with some of our silliness. Thank you to all of the staff at the school, classroom assistants, the janitor, cleaners, office staff, lunch staff, and our teachers over the last seven years. We knew this doesn't work unless, well unless you're all working together to make it happen. To finish with, we have a special song.
been a blast The time's gone by so very fast Memories will last and last We'll take our leave and go Our school has been a blast The time's gone by so very fast Memories will last and last We'll take our leave and go I'm now going to pass over to Mrs Ward, who's going to lead us in the presentation of awards now. I'm going to apologise before I even start. I don't have much of a voice, so if it starts to go, um, apologies, OK? <laughs> I'm doing my best, but um, I did say I wasn't going to do a big, long speech, so you'll probably be quite pleased to hear that. The second thing I want to say before I even say anything else is I do have to say that Miss Gemmell and Mrs Graham, for the year 2082, you looked pretty good. <laughs> that was the one thing, because I was thinking, hmm, where will I be in the year 2082? Probably not a hard guess, but I thought you looked pretty good for that one. So thank you for that, Primary 7. It was really nice to actually, first of all, be here, I would have to say, based on the fact, you know, we've had a couple of years Tough years, I have to say, for the school, not being able to do things like this. Um, so it is great for me for this year to be able to, to finish off the year by having the siblings here and the parents here to share um, with our prize giving. And hopefully next year, I know if some of you have got memories of the school, you'll remember, you know, this table would have been strewn with um, prize winners because we used to have things like the golf tournaments, the tennis, etc. And hopefully, now getting things back a bit back to normal, that's something we can look forward to maybe next year. Um, but certainly for our primary sixes, you need to keep the staff on their toes to make sure there are more prizes on this table for next year. But this year, we are here to celebrate our current primary sevens. And it was nice to listen to their memories. Um, it was nice to hear what they have got plans for in the future, and good to know that they have got plans for the future. But I just wanted to share one of my memories because I do remember them in primary one and I always remember them and I have remembered you as this all the way through. But do you know one of those games you get where you get these little wormy things that bop up and you've got a wee hammer and you have to chop them back down? And then every time you chop one down, another one pops up. Well, in primary one, that's kind of what this bunch were like. There were a lot of big personalities. There were a lot of wrigglers, for want of a better description. But do you know, there was a spark. And it was that spark that you could work with. And that was the lovely thing about working with you in primary one, was that spark in the personalities you had, the knowledge you had. You might not have liked to sit still to share that knowledge, but you certainly had it all going for you. So that's my memory. I have to say, I think you've continued through the school in much of the same way, because you have been a lively bunch and you have kept the staff on their toes. But do you know something? That's what's made you, you, and that's what's made you memorable to every member of staff in the school. So you've got your memories, but the staff have all got their memories too. So I just want to thank you for being a really great bunch of primary sevens. Just the other day, the classroom assistants were commending you in the playground, and it was lovely to see you back doing the monitoring um, with our primary ones, twos and threes, and engaging with them, playing with them, showing them their personalities. So thank you for doing that, and it was great that we've been able to move beyond COVID and actually have you involved in that part of the school life again um, and share with us what your what your skills really are and the skills that you'll take forward as you move on to the academy. So I do wish you well for that. I also just want to, before we start doing the awards, is just thank everybody else, thank the staff, um, thank all the children. I know we've only got our fives and sixes here. Um, and also thank the parents for the support because we know that and appreciate it hasn't been easy for you for the last couple of years not to be able to you know, be in the school and be fully engaged with your child's learning in a way that the school would wish that you were. But hopefully that is the way forward and that's the way 
that next year that you'll see a difference and feel a difference in the engagement with the school again because it's been just too long for me it's been too long um, and the school is more than just the children it's about everybody that's part of the school community so hopefully things are going to change for the better you're going on to a new situation completely so your things will change for you but in a good way because i always find that by certainly by the easter holidays our primary sevens are ready for the academy they're just ready for that next step so i'm sure everybody will wish you well and i'm sure we want to thank everybody as well for supporting you through your school um, and just in becoming the kind of people that you are so we do have a few prizes to present today um, these are prizes that have been chosen by the teachers and sometimes obviously they talk to you know previous teachers and to the management within the school it should be recognized that all the children work hard you know they all give the best to the school and and sometimes the teachers have decided to change the awards that we've had because they want it recognized that it's just not always about how academic you can be there's a lot more to school and there's a lot more to children than just being able to be good with their reading good with their numbers and um, so there are awards for perseverance there are teachers awards just for children who have shown not just this year but in the past that their personalities their support for other children the way that they are basically is just as important as being able to do the academic things so the teachers wanted to recognize that in their, their choices for the prize winners this year so without further ado and i don't know if i've got enough hands to do all of this but we're going to start off with what the teachers describe as the perseverance awards these are awards just for children who it is noticeable that when things are a wee bit challenging when they you know can't just quite see the straightforward route to something they don't give up they keep going they might seek help from somebody they might actually just persevere on their own but the main thing is is that they do they persevere um, and they don't give up so in recognition of that we have got two children from primary 7a and two children from primary 7b so i'm going to call them up the two together so our perseverance awards for primary 7a are iona renfrew and katie mccalmont want to come up together because if I draw this out any longer I'm going to get a row from everybody for having talked too much so if you want to come up together you're fine. From Primary 7B our Perseverance Awards are going to Emma McKinley and Rebecca Mitchell. awards um, again a bit different from our perseverance but again for um, our, pers our teachers awards it's about you know the children that just you know do what they're asked every time they're asked to do it they just get on um, they help others they don't complain about things they just see the positive in everything that they do so our award for teachers awards are going to from now he's not here today but i will announce him anyway so from primary 7a we have luke frame so i think we should give him a wee round of applause <laughs> and we've got two teachers awards from primary 7b because this is down comes down to a teacher who can't make up her mind so we have craig mcenroy and chloe mccallum Done, Craig. Well done, Craig. Well done, Craig. Okay, our 
next award is the most improved. Um, again, this is one that you know the, the teachers do discuss a wee bit with the previous teachers um, because it's, a, it's quite, in a way, quite like the perseverance. We've got some children who you know, just keep going and they don't find school easy, they don't find the work easy, but they give the best effort that they can and they just keep going with things. Um, and through that effort, they, at some point, start to show that progress and they start to show the effort pays off um, and that what they then achieve has been recognised as being the most improved. So we've got a couple of winners for our most improved. So from primary 7A, we've got Lily McGill, and from 7B, Sophia Amat. And well done, Sophia. Okay, our next one is award. We, we, we didn't do this, we haven't done this award for a couple of years, but because a lot of the focus through the remote learning was on the literacy, numeracy, health and wellbeing. But we have an award that's historically been in the school called the T. Bryce Aitken, which is an award that's there to recognise more of the, the sort of topic input, where the, we call it the interdisciplinary learning, where you've got literacy, numeracy, you've got the expressive arts, you've got um, you know, the creativity, you've got research, it covers everything. Um, and we look for children who, when they're doing topic, just give that all round the effort and everything they do and everything they produce is to the best quality that they possibly can. So we have um, a, a T. Bryce Aiken from both classes. From primary 7A, we have Fraser Roger. And from 7B, we have J. Adam. Well done, Jake. Handshake, handshake. Well, I'll get away. We have our Ducks Awards. And probably this is the one that the, the teachers find the most challenging to select just one child to, to receive a Ducks Award. But again, it's just, it's for that all-rounder, you know, the what, child in your class that just whatever you give them, whatever you ask them to do, there's no questions asked. Um, they give it their best effort. They help others in doing the best that they can as well. Work-wise, you know, they've shown a good standard of work throughout the year and previous years as well. Um, so it's a, a recognition for that you know, mammoth effort that a lot of people put in, but in recognition of those who just sort of stand out as being, you know, that all-rounder, that everything they give, they give 100% to everything they do. So our Ducks Awards this year from Primary 7A go to Benjamin Cowan. And from Primary 7B, we've got John McNay. Well done, John. Okay, so all of our prize winners, obviously, we want to congratulate. But I think, at this point, I think we should give all of our Primary 7s a round of applause for their efforts. Okay, I'm now going to ask the teachers to help me a wee bit with the next bit of the presentation, which is to give out the, our calculators and things to every child. They're going to help me because they're going to say the names before I, sort of the voice cuts off. So they're going to shout out all the names as the children come out. Um, and you can just probably just keep clapping, I would say. You might as well. Tamara Martin. <laughs> Felix Bridge. <laughs> Lily McGill. Jack Byers. Madison McLaughlin. 
Ellis Welsh. James Richardson. Iona Renfrew. Ben Cowan. Ben Young. Adam McNeese. Molly Jewell. Hayden Murray. Jamie Jack. Ailey Gallagher. Etta McNorty. Millie Edwards. Lewis O'Donnell. Tegan Riddle. Ellie Louise Howes. Abigail McQuirter. Chloe McCallum. Kitty Andrews. Travis Adam. Fraser Roger. Cody Dillon. Sean Bradford. Abby Callender. Jack Taylor. Ethan Harkins. Rocco McFadden. Ellie Doherty. Cooper Young. Katie McCalmont. Bruce Bamford. Jay Adam. Marcus Mulvey. Lachlan McNichol. Craig McEnroy. Rebecca Mitchell. Emma McKinley. Tom Stevenson. Danny Nimmo. Matthew McCrindle. Corey Adams. Lily Longwell. Amy Leishman. Ailey McLeish. Jamie Tomlinson. Kieran Hamill. Amia Fraser Moore. Sophia Matt. John McNay. Lacey Jane Clark. Sophie Stewart. I was going to keep this short. So I just want to just say really a big thank you for those who've come today. I know time off work and things like that can be quite challenging as well. So to make the effort to come and see our primary sevens and I think everybody in here just, you know, wishes them all the best for after the summer. I don't know what the next four days are going to be like with them. Um, Monday, we'll, we'll keep our heads together tomorrow, I think, yes. Monday after Bounce Nation, um, oh, I better not say what is after Bounce Nation because that's a surprise. Almost gave that one away there. And um, I believe a water fight, but I'm not even going to, I've kind of blanking that from um, my knowledge at the moment. So I'm quite sure they're going to have a ball for the next few days um, just to celebrate seven years. Seven tough years, yes? Yeah. Seven tough years at West Kilbride um, Primary. But I, I know that everybody in here wants to wish them well. I just want to wish that you have a happy and safe summer holidays as well and that you are just all geared up and ready to go for what the future brings you. So can we just give one last round of applause to our Primary Seven? <laughs>
And I'm just going to hand you back over, I think, to Mr. McNee just to finish us off this afternoon. But thank you. Okay, a big thank you to Mrs. Ward. Um, I'm just going to pass over to John, who's going to say uh, one or two words. Uh, before we leave, we would like to acknowledge our head teacher, Mrs. Ward, and the service she's given to Westbury Primary School. Would you believe that in total she's been working with staff and pupils in North Ayrshire for over 32 years? And that's about 6,240 school days, which is about 43,680 hours. That's 2,620,800 2, minutes and an unbelievable 157,248,000 seconds. Mrs. Ward, we think you deserve a rest. All the best for your retirement. Okay, and I think I would speak for all the parents, uh, all grandparents, carers, uh, to thank Mrs. Ward for all that she's done uh, in West Kilbride Primary over these last number of years. A big thank you also for all the teaching staff uh, who have worked tirelessly throughout this last year um, and all the other staff at the school as well. We're really, really grateful. Uh, primary sevens, primary fives, primary sixes, do you want to turn and just give your teachers and members of staff, a round of applause. And a big thank you to everyone for being here today. Shall we just finish with a prayer together? Let's just pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together this afternoon, this time of celebration, uh, this time of thinking back over good memories and we thank you for each of the pupils in West Kilbride Primary School. And we particularly remember the primary sevens uh, today. And we ask that you would watch over them and bless them as they move on to secondary school. We thank you for all that they've achieved over these last seven years. And we ask that you would continue to be close beside them. We thank you also for all the teachers in our school, uh, all the staff who work there. And we pray that you would give them a good rest and a time of relaxation over the summer. So Lord God, we thank you for all your blessings and we ask that your blessing from Father, Son and Holy Spirit would rest and remain upon us this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much and have a lovely summer.